How we doing folks? Welcome back to the Nightmare Cabin. I've got a uh, big box of metal that's just come in the post. The uh, lovely folks at Rocks Records had a Black Friday sale the other day and it was 50% off across the board. So um, now ordering, well, ordering CDs from anywhere at the moment is becoming um, increasingly difficult. What was it? I was just looking at a CD the other day. I was... Yeah, it was £10 for the CD, but £14 postage and packaging. And that's, uh, you know, I think that was somewhere from like France or somewhere like that. So, yeah, ordering any music from America, and Rocks Records are based in America. Um, yeah, the shipping is just ridiculous at the moment. And it's not them that sets the price. It, you know, it's, it's everywhere. So um, a 50% sale was uh, quite handy. So it kind of all evened out. And... Um, and obviously, the more you buy, the more the just the shipping sort of justified. You get to a certain point where it's just like it just becomes free. So uh, I had a little stock up. I had a little spend up. Don't tell the misses. And um, yeah, let's go through it. So I'll put the um, up for you know for the selection of uh, Christian metal in terms of um, your eighties and nineties and sort of traditional metal, thrash metal and stuff like that. Um, the big three really is Boone's Overstock, Sound Mass, and who we're talking about today, Rocks Records, which I'll uh, put a link in in the description. Obviously, for your metalcore and hardcore, um, I'm finding like Kingdom Core is a really good page to go to. So um, I think the big ones like Face Down Records, but we'll get into that another time. Today we're all about Rocks Records. Um, I did not order these two, so I'm guessing these are a couple of freebies so uh what have we got here this is amos jade i i know nothing about that but um I'm sure it's really good it's actually on the rocks records label so that's all really good and then we got cross false rocking till the final day looks like Oh yeah, it's just a collection of demos, but from 1986 and 1987. Again, don't know much about these, but um, sure they're very good. Right, let's get into the stuff I ordered. Where should we start? Right, needed a big stock up on um, Sacred Warrior of um, a band I've come across recently, and um, I've actually become. A big fan of the uh, singer's YouTube channel where Ray. Oh, I forget the guy's name now. Ray. Oh, his name slips my mind. But. Um, and this is his new band, actually. Uh, Deny the Fallen. Um, this is a bit more. Not a million miles difference from um, Baron Cross, but a bit of a modern kick to it. So it's sort of like a Seven Dust. Sort of take on it. So it's um, nice, heavy, crunchy, heavy riffs with nice sort of soaring choruses, um, with that sort of modern crunch that brings to mind Seven Dust. So um, yeah, you got the classic albums here from Sacred Warrior, and uh, yeah, this is the singer's new band. I'm just going to quickly undo the thing so I can find out his name because it's getting on my nerves. But he's got a really good podcast. He's like has interviews and. All the rest of it. I've been been watching his channel lately. Ray Perra. What did I say it was? Did I say Ray? But yeah, Ray Perra. And uh, yeah, very good. Um, so we got Obsessions by uh, Sacred Warrior. Uh, Wicked Generation. I think this is a bit of a fan favourite. I've got one more in here. I'm expecting to find. This is the band's debut. This is all uh, in the 80s. Have I got another one in here? Um, try and get them all together. Yes. Um, so then this is their, uh, I'm guessing this is considered the classic because this is the one, you've got a gold edition and um, regular viewers will know there's a lot of uh, gold disc editions of albums I've shown off since getting into this scene. Um, this one's quite reminiscent of um, Iron Maiden in places. 
bit of Queen's work in there as well. But yeah, I really liked this album. Once the camera decides to focus. Let's see if it focuses on the card. You always get a baseball card with these. Oh, is it because of this box? Let's put this down here. Oh. And then, uh, come on, focus. I have to zoom in. Here you go. Put my ugly mug. Here we go. Right. So, uh, yeah, this is Sacred Warrior Master's Command, the gold disc edition. Yeah, this is the band's debut album. Uh, this is Rebellion. Then, yeah, this is the fourth album, Wicked Generation obsession and then this is the singer's new band deny the fallen so i'm looking forward to getting cracking on all of them just do a quick recap and then i've got these two freebies which i don't know much about but looking forward to checking them out then what have we got same sort of setup actually so i might as well do these together uh baron cross i've got one baron cross album back there uh, which I bought during another haul and um, really enjoyed it. So uh, I thought I'd stock up on the other stuff they got. So um, let's see if I can quickly find it. Found it. Right. Yeah, so I bought this a year or two ago. Really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd uh, check out the rest of the band's catalogue. Uh, this isn't the whole of the catalogue, um, but uh, these are the ones that they had. So, yeah, we've got uh, State of Control, which is the follow-up from this album. Um, kind of Iron Maiden in places, but also quite got a bit of a late 80s, 90s sort of hard rock feel to it with a bit of a Maiden metal edge. And uh, this is a live album on that recorded on this tour. So, and then just like with the other band, this is the uh, singer's new band, which um, I've listened to a couple of tracks and yeah, thought it was really good. Sort of classic metal with a modern punch, really. And uh, yeah, Let's show you the artwork properly. And again, it's like a bit of a bit more of a modern take on. Uh, what the previous band were doing again nice um soaring vocals heavy riffs lots of melody but good catchy choruses good catchy verses and uh what else have we got i think that's everything let's go through these one by one um testimony of apocalypse i got their uh last album really enjoyed it I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going <laughs> to go looking for the other one. Um, that one might be easier. No, that I know where that one is because I actually reviewed that this year. So that's going to be easier to find. Here we go. Yeah, so this was released this year. I did the review of it. So go back and look that. And uh, if I remember, I'll put a description to my review of this in the uh, in the description below. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, I thought I'd pick up their debut album. And I just in a post the other day, no, the other day, um, yesterday, uh, that they've got a new album coming out next year. I think they're going to release a song soon. But uh, I think there's been a bit of a lineup change as well with this. The uh, Derek, um, I forget the guy's surname now, Derek, uh, he's the main guy in Bloodthirsty, he's like the main vocalist in them now. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be pressing on. Um, next up, we've got Titanic, uh, Hidden Maiden Voyage. Um, what's cool with this one? This one, again, kind of hard rock, but with a bit of a kick to it. And uh, this has actually got the Robert Sweet, uh, the drummer in Striper. He drums on this. And um, I think the original album was actually recorded with a drum machine. Um, 
and Robert Sweet like recorded drums properly for this reissue, or they reissued it a few years ago previously, and then this is another reissue with the original artwork. So it's the original artwork and original layout, but with the updated recording, something like that. So, uh, next up, we've got a band that's released a debut album this year. I've been this is one of those ones. I was trying to get hold of this, but I was literally paying $19 for a $10 CD. It was ridiculous. I was yeah, I was looking at paying like the best part of £40 for one CD. But I really enjoyed the um, tracks I've heard of this. So I might squeeze in a review um, for this, actually. Well, same goes for... Uh, for human code as well i think this came out this year yeah this came out this year this is like metalcore as well so this is all screamy and sung vocals and whatnot so this is a bit more modern than the rest of it but um when did the night of fallen come out when did this come out 2016 the night of fallen, when did that come out oh this was last year so but yeah, these these could qualify for album of the year. So I'm going to put these. I'm going to do reviews of these and put them in the race. And uh, yeah, last but not least, I'm really glad I picked this up because this is like a last edition of a very limited edition um, album. And this is uh, let's get out of this case. And this is Lament with Burn Satan Burn. And uh, yeah, it's a very limited edition box set. So you get the, uh, that's pretty cool. So it kind of unfolds like that. I can't remember the exact number they made of these, but I know they didn't make a lot of them. And you get a sticker and uh, oh, here we go, postcard. So this is number 58 of, oh, they only made 77 of them. So there you go. And uh, Lament are a melodic death metal. I think they went a bit more thrashy as they went on. But um, I'm getting into them. So it was cool to get a uh, a limited edition of the album. I forget what it, I think they might be from Mexico or something like that. Or Port I don't want to get it wrong. So... But I know um, most of their music isn't in English. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, really cool band anyway. But yeah, I'm glad I got to uh, get hold of a limited edition while it was still available. So, yeah, just a quick one. I hope that uh, tickles your fancy. Anything you like the sound of, you check out yourself. And um, obviously the sale's over. But um, I'll put rocks records in the description below regardless so you can check out the, sh the store and have a rummage round and uh and i'll put in the review for testimony of apocalypse as well in case you haven't seen the review for that as well that's all see you later thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video